Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm loving my workspace and I'm looking at people's products and things like that. And then if you see my two friends here at the back, my sister-in-law knits them by hand. They're so cute, these scarecrows. They've even got little bugs and little mice on their hats and bugs on their shoes. It's very cute and all different ones. And she uses up all scraps of wool. I think she's very talented. <laughs> John 17 verse 3 says, And this eternal life that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. And it just seems like such a sort of fragment of scripture. You can see that it belongs somewhere else. But we're talking a little bit about what keeps us close to God and what what um, what is the one thing that kind of kind of um keeps God coming back to us and keeps us going back to God and and we actually kind of decided a little bit like it's our limitations that do that because God doesn't have any um and that's the one thing our bodies have limitations this physical form of us has a limitation it does not last forever it does come to an end um sorry <laughs> it does come to an end this body of ours this body of us does not um, continue into infinity but when we connect ourselves with God when we believe that Christ is our um, risen savior when we decide that we want to be kind of walking along after him and just hearing him as our rabbi and listening to his um, teachings and hearing who he is and who he wants us to be um, we get something. We get this eternal life. We get to live with our God eternally and forever. And this is just a, it's not a revelation because we know it. But sometimes something is revealed to us and we know it. But then we need to hear it and it needs to sink into our spirit. And we need to hear it with our spirit with our body with our whole being we need to understand that when we take that step we gain something so much bigger than ourselves so much more um, amazing and so much more beautiful um, that than what we can imagine and that is that this body dying getting buried into a grave, never being seen again at some stage in our lives, is not what is going to define who we are. But what is going to define who we are and how long we live is this, the Savior that God sent us. And that we can hold on to that. And as soon as you... When you've grasped that completely, so you, you learn it and you know it and you take Christ on and, and then it takes this time to actually develop this, I know what I know, what I know, you know, um, where it sinks deep into your soul and you just will never change. It will always be what it is. So I encourage you to actually ponder this thought. Ponder that we have all these limitations and it's our limitations that brings us to Christ and one of the big limitations is we rush around life trying to experience in this physical body the most and the best that we can um, with the possessions that we have and the places that we visit and the experiences that we try and um, experience um, you know some people bungee jump and jump out of planes and you know hold a baby, you know, all just smell a rose, whatever that experience is. But um, this earth has its limitations. But heaven is limitless. And that's where we go and live with God. Um, in that limitless place of pure splendor and glory. So that's what I wish for you. I wish that you figure that out. <laughs> After all these years. <laughs> You figure it out um, and then you enjoy the experience. Have a wonderful day and we'll speak again tomorrow.